That is crazy. Man, it's, it's, it's hurting just to see it when that bitch said, yo, that air, because you can only get so much air in there. And uh, she about to panic, lights out, and she, she panicking, and, and she got an assistant. I'm like, damn. Right. She suffered. She suffered. Yeah, man. finally put this story to rest and tell you guys what happened. Andrew Holmes, um, an activist here in the city of Chicago, he was able to not only see the video, um, he was able to talk with authorities, he was able to go inside the facility and look at the freezer. He knows, um, you know, what happened to this young lady. Share this video as you come in, because uh, we only want to say this one time. Um, Your dedication to this city doesn't go unnoticed. And there's someone special here with a surprise for you. Please welcome the mayor of Chicago, Rahm Emanuel. Mayor, good to see you. Hey, Henry. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a proclamation by the whole city on your behalf for what you've done for our children, for our neighborhoods, to give families a sense of normalcy. What you're talking about is that communities can have to live by a moral code, not a code of silence. And I want to thank you for creating that moral code out there. So on behalf of all the people of the city of Chicago, we do hereby proclaim February 26, 2014, to be Andrew Holmes Day in the city of Chicago. <laughs> what about the body stories of the hotel selling body parts? And <laughs> <laughs> Always taking action for you. And first of six, the investigation of a business deal that deals in human body parts shifting from Detroit to Chicago as the feds launch a new raid. For two days, federal investigators dressed in hazmat suits removed body parts of a thousand different people. Arms, legs, heads cut up and kept on ice, not embalmed, so they would be fresh for the black market. Today, the rundown warehouse on Detroit's east side is shuttered and up for sale. Sources say Rathburn's seized records led them to the Chicago area today, a business called Biological Resource Center in Rosemont. <laughs> you 
Yeah, you know, that's just, uh, like I say, just, just to get some hits and some views, you know. Yeah. Put something out there, you throw a story out there, and then all of a sudden, you got people want to get interested in what you're talking about. People all over Facebook keep using this story, um, you know what I'm saying, for Facebook fame or whatever. Let's put the facts out there. So, and we want to tell you guys before the news tell you, before everybody else got the video, before the video is released later on. Share this video. Share this video. If that was our child, man, that's my baby they talking about. You're falsifying stuff about my child. That's yep. not my child's character. So get the facts right and let's deal with what we have to deal with ahead. Andrew, talk to us about the facts. Let's talk about what the video actually shows and where we are, all right? Andrew, what's the facts? The video show the young lady in the lobby. The video show the young lady in the lobby and I watched her from the lobby and I watched her from the lobby. And I watched her from the lobby walk to the elevator, walk to the elevator. walk to the elevator but she did walk into that elevator but she did walk into that elevator but she did walk into that elevator well i watched the video from the time she was in the lobby to the time that she got off the elevator there. and she was trying to possibly get back up to the ninth floor, but she might have pushed the button or the button was always pushed already to show lower level. And the elevator went down. And the elevator went down. And the elevator went down. Okay. So she got off the elevator. I can see where she was staggering, as they said, and she got off. She went to the stairwell casing. The stairwell leads back upstairs. I watched and looked for cameras everywhere. I, they showed me cameras everywhere. She walked to the steps. She did a little stumble trying to get up there. She turned around and went back the other way. Now, she was still walking kind of wobbly. She did uh, f fall into the wall, and she started opening up doors. So she opened up one door. She went in, came right back out. She wasn't in there. You can tell she was looking for doors, trying to get back upstairs to the lobby. Back upstairs to the lobby. So she went from door to door. So she went from door to door. She went in this door. She didn't stay long. She went in there and came back out. She was basically trying to find her way back to the lobby trying to find her way back to the lobby as she continued down the path and she leading, went to the to the bathroom and everything yeah, what's yeah, some she, of the doors she did go in one of the doors she she went in was the men's washroom she that door pushed open she came she came right back out she pushed in came right back out she went inside another door she went inside another door she came right back out She was checking doors to see, to me, how she can get back upstairs. She can get back upstairs. So she went down toward this unsecured area that she went, and the camera shows it. And the camera shows it. And it shows where she went when she went in and it shows where she went when she went in the doors wasn't secured she went right in the 
the doors weren't secured. She went right in. There was a freezer part there where you all see, uh, where you all haven't seen it yet, where she had walked back. There was no one in there. The place, they don't even use that part no more. It's a kitchen part, and it has two, two, two large freezers. So she, she walked back there, and as she went inside that door, she opened it up, which you can open up. It's just like a big steel door. It don't take much to open it. You open up that door, you take one half a step to your right. It's another door to another freezer part. She had to open up that door to go inside of there. Now, I've been inside the freezer down there. Upon looking at that freezer, you can open up that door, take a half step up, turn to your left, pull the other door. You take one half a step to your right is another door to another freezer part. She had to open up that door to go inside of there, mainly trying to find her way back to the lobby. mainly trying to find her way back to the lobby. And I was in there with the detectives, I was in that freezer. And I was scared even being in that freezer, even in there with them, and I was in there by myself. Even in there with them, and I was in there by myself. I can understand the part where she was at with the motion camera up there, that when, it, when somebody walks, it turns that way with the motion camera up there that when it when somebody walks it turns that way and in that freezer lights out it's air sh shut tight it's air sh shut tight if locks was on the door like they was on the door when I got there They had locks on there, so I couldn't get in, but didn't have no locks on there when she was there. If they had them, she probably would have turned around like she turned around at the other doors. She turned around at the other doors to find her way back upstairs. To find her way back upstairs. upstairs and that unit freezer that she was found in is so why no, was, was no the freezer on no the, to me the freezer wasn't on the freezer wasn't on to me when they were saying that uh uh it looked like she was wet or something it's hot as hell in that freezer hot as hell in that freezer so she is she gonna sweat the body gonna sweat I'm quite sure if uh, the freezer was on, then that's a different story that has to be proven. Did I 
hear you describe earlier on a Facebook Live video that you actually had the chance to go in that freezer? Yeah, I went in the freezer. So can you describe, first of all, how did you get access to that freezer and what it was like? Well, we walked in, in the freezer. They walked me down. I walked to a whole steps. And I walked to that freezer, opened up the door, that fr freezer door closed, opened up the other door, that freezer door closed, and it was hot as hell in both of them freezers, and dark as hell in the freezers too. All I see is trying to find her way to get back upstairs where she was. All I see is trying to find her way to get back upstairs where she was, where she was. You got security there. They're negligent because if that's the last place you seen that baby, that's the last place you seen her on video surveillance, that should have been the first place you was looking to secure in that area. Now, if you say, okay, we got her in this area here, and this is where she going, you run and send somebody down there quick and, quick and fast, if you watching the video footage, because you got to, if they was an intruder in there, and you on your job, then you got to get somebody down there. Somebody should have been at the, computer watching the monitor now who fell asleep because when you seen her there it should have sent an alert off where we got somebody down here in an unrestricted area we got somebody down here in a, down here in an unrestricted area we got somebody down here in an unrestricted area what time on the video was she what did it did it show what time she got in there yeah they got the time on there i got to uh look back on my file i got those in, in the car Back on my file, I got those in, in the car. Okay. And I got to look back on that. But I, you know, I commend the uh, the police department out there. They they not rushing to judgment. They they rush. They looking at time on everything. They show me time on the cameras. Time here. They done order everything, even outside technicians to come in because even outside technicians. thing even outside technicians to come in because when they give it out they want to give it out by the time and the minute so i see a lot of the crazy comments firstly what i want to say is andrew holmes is an activist in the city of chicago per the family he did re uh, view the video you did t tell everybody what you have done and why you're able to even say this Yeah, I called the mother and let her know that I have seen this video. I gave her bits and pieces about it, and she's going to be looking at the video, too. Per the family, he did re uh, view the video. You did not give nobody permission to see the videotape at all. They, they, no, they I did not give them no permission. And what were they saying as far as was the freezer on and off? Did, did was that clarified at all uh, from the hotel? No, I'm gonna clarify that uh, today through the uh, chief and ask him to uh, release that. Was that refrigerator on or was that refrigerator off? But I knew when I got there and got inside of there, it was dark when you closed when that door closed and. On the video that's going to be released to the public, it will be released to the public after the family sees it, correct? Yeah, Andrew. it should be released after the family, <coughs> family uh, see it. And I, and I was the same way like the views. I was I the same had, way. I had doubts. Doubts, like, man, doubts, somebody killed there, this girl. Right. But I got there because I had doubts about, okay, wait a minute. Could be a motel worker, could be somebody, somebody. But I We all said until, the same. I want everybody to understand that we yeah. all on the same side. Oh, yeah. We don't work with the hotel. We don't work with the police department. That's right. We on the side of the people. We don't work with the hotel. We don't work with the police department. Right. We on the side of the people. We don't work with the police department. Right. Because I'm a community activist. I'm also a private investigator. I also work with all police agencies just as well as these gentlemen here too.
How many doors you think she opened before she got to the freezer uh, door? How many doors you think she opened before she got to the freezer uh, door? Think about four and think about four and and uh, she, uh other doors that she had checked and uh, she, uh other doors that she had checked. She was trying to find her way back upstairs. She was trying to find her way back upstairs. Back upstairs. She was just trying to get back to a secured area, and that's what she was looking for. Because the doors that she opened up, she didn't even stay them. She just went in and came right back out. Because you know, especially the bathroom, went and came back out. Went in another door, it closed. She come back out. Went in another door, it closed. She come back out. She basically, to me. Honest God, I think that baby was trying to find her way back upstairs. She basically, to me, honest God, I think that baby was trying to find her way back upstairs. You will see on the video, she was trying to find her way. She went through several doors. Try, she went to the man's restroom. How long she's in the man's restroom? Yes, she about a half a second. Just get, she just went in there. there. Turned around, came back. She went to another door, trying to joke it, open it, and she went to another door. She was trying to find her way up, upstairs somewhere secure where she can see people she was trying to find her way up upstairs somewhere secure where she can see people but that's what i can see from the bottom of my heart because see if it was anything other than that that i can prove that someone was down there someone forced her down there you can bet your bottom dollar i'm just like the rest of the act activists out here we're not going to sugarcoat it we you're going to get served and exactly the fall where they lay we we will set fire to everybody's ass excuse my french and make sure that we get all the facts. Now, I wish, and and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to say I wish. Everybody here wants to blame somebody, all right? I'm sorry that none of those, those stories that we've seen and what we thought were right. But we got to look at the facts and the evidence and, look, and take it for what it is and mainly learn from this situation. I think that's all we could do is learn from this situation, take care of this family, and make sure that this hotel is still liable absolutely because they did not have locks on that um that freezer correct that's correct if you had a nine-year-old or ten-year-old that was you stand in that motel with you and they wanted if your child wanted out looking for the swimming pool without your knowledge and had went downstairs and started going through them doors and had went downstairs and started going through them doors it could have happened and i'm sorry it happened to this child even if a person wasn't impaired and walked in there and couldn't get out and down there in that basement area and nobody can hear you one there was nobody down there with him nobody forced her down there one on the back but far as someone pulling in her down there or leading her down there but it still doesn't take away from that that area should have been secured now from me looking at the video she was trying to find her way back upstairs yes, to the lock and she was checking the doors, and she was checking other doors, just trying to find her way back upstairs. So no one else was back there, down in that unsecured area. And locked, because if she had hit that door right there, she'd have turned around and went back the other way, because she was trying to get indoors while she was trying to find a way to get out. And I believe she was trying to get back upstairs to her friends. They have checked those cameras at a time with a technician to make sure no one alters anything. We work hard, he work hard to try to Calm the situation down, and that's just about it for some justice. Is your understanding that the freezer was on or off? That information, I don't know. That had to come out in the report. I do know when I went in there yesterday, that freezer was hot as hell. So it gives me the understanding that it wasn't working, and at the same time, that that area where she was at is not even being used anyway. According to the hotel, there was like 40 
30 hours or 36 hours of videotape. That's why. Well, there was a big gap in between there, and I and I say this that let the chips fall where it lay. There was a big gap in between there, and I and I say this that. If you got a security camera and you see somebody in an unsecured area, and if you're monitoring your station and monitor that monitor, then where were you at when she walked through there? Someone should have notified somebody to go downstairs and find out why she down there in that area. And then the gap that's between there, if indeed you looked at the video surveillance, and I'm talking about not the, the uh, police department, the uh, hotel security staff. If you looked at that surveillance and you seen that she was in that area when you all started looking, then why didn't you all run down there right away and go in that area and try to open up some doors since that was the last place she was? Why should they have to take an employee to come in the next morning or two to go down there and find her? The next morning or two. and go in that area and try to open up some doors since that was the last place she was. Why should they have to take an employee to come in the next morning or two to go down there and find her? We do see Kanika walking in this lower level kitchen in the hotel. We do see Kanika walking in this lower level kitchen in the hotel. She stumbles, turns the corner, and then she goes out of frame. Right here, they want to talk to my attorney. She don't want to talk to nobody. She want to be right here because right normally they know my number and they call me and they haven't called me to verify nothing. Right. They just let someone say anything. And then right. they put it on the media. No they put it on the media. I just want to get something straight before I hear from anybody else. Okay. You don't have no spokesperson named Jamal or Anthony and Jerry Andrew, Andrew at all. So you did not give nobody permission to see the videotape at all. They, they, no, I did not give them no permission. What happened if she had not even seen the video? Okay, so let's go get somebody because permission. Because they were so saying you gave them permission. Uh -huh. no, they said it. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. I got to ask a specific question. Have you had any conversation with Jamal Green about the rankings with your family? Jamal Green, the young She don't know him, bro. You don't know him. No. By Mama's account, that Andrew Holmes, in fact, lied. He never had the permission of the family to take, see no takes, or talk to the community about. And every activist who said that they were a representative of to this family has lied. It was never true. This family has never had a representative, and this this family never said stop marching because, in fact. They don't have a scheduled time to see the tapes. They had to secure a lawyer for themselves, and they and they they don't have the answers, and it, they, it doesn't add up. So the mama and the, the family was never okay with the narrative. They don't even believe that the daughter walked into a freezer. They don't believe that. And so what I said earlier was wrong. They never accepted it, and we don't accept it. So I'm on here to get this right. I apologize again to this family. I apologize to the city of Chicago. I apologize to Kanika. And now let's make it right. I'm not representing them. Jamal not representing them. Andrew Holmes for fucking show ain't representing them. Nobody's representing them. They're going to represent themselves and they got an attorney. And so, go on mama's feed. And I'm, and, and I, and go on mama's feed. And we need to still fight for justice for Tanika. Thank y'all. And that's it. It's a wrap.
facts and we're right. We're right. But we gotta look at the facts and we're right. We gotta look at the facts and we're right. But we gotta look at the facts and we're right. We're right. But we gotta look at the facts and we're right. I'm sorry that none of those could be those, alright? I'm sorry that none of those could be those, alright? I'm sorry that none of those could be those, alright? I'm sorry that none of those could be those, alright? Right. 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 walking in this lower level kitchen in the hotel. Trying to find her way back upstairs. Yeah, yeah.